Hey gang, welcome back to the Get House Fitness channel. Today I will be doing my 10 month lock anniversary, which is uh, funny to me because in my last um, update for month eight and nine, I mentioned that I probably wouldn't do any more until um, the one year mark because I just assumed that nothing else would really change. It seemed slightly redundant. But this is life that there has actually been changes. So I'm back and I'm gonna update you guys today. So I've written, written, written my items on a dry erase board because let's save a tree. And I'm just gonna go through the things I noticed this month. So um, I think my locks are qualified as teenagers now and I say that because I read that in a teenage phase they kind of do what they want and not that it's like a bad thing or anything like that but I don't even know how I'm trying to say what I'm trying to say but like before say I wanted to like put my hair in half up half down like I could literally just like move it and go like now You'll put it up and like see how there's this gap here. Like they all want to go a different direction. They all want to do something a little bit different. Um, I have to wet it more like spritz it, which is one of my items on my list. I have to wet my hair more, but not to, not to wash it or because it's dry, but because if I don't wet it, it's really not going to do what I want it to do because I guess since they're getting more dense and it's like half the length, is fully locked and then the ends are still not locked they it's kind of like dealing with uh transitioning hair like when you are a loose natural and or you're trying to become a loose natural and you're growing your perm out it's kind of like that so with it trying to do what it wants to do i think they are very much so teenagers now which is cool they can they can do that thing i'm fine with it but yeah i just it's just a new thing i had to learn and deal with so they're teenagers now. Like I said, I have to spritz my hair more often, uh, not because it's dry, but just so I can mold it and move it to make it how I want it. Uh, what else? Oh, I have flat locks now. Uh, so some of the locks I feel like are flat because of the way they're parted. So when I made my pattern, I parted my hair down the middle and then I parted it from this ear to this ear. So for the way my head is shaped, there's like a lock here and a lock here that aren't squares. They're like, not even triangles, they're like rounded triangles. So I guess because of how it's parted, kind of like, that doesn't look good, that looks like a body part. But anyways, <laughs> for that reason, they're flat, like they're growing flat, which is fine. And then some of them, are flat I think because I wear my hair up so much so like I said I have to wet it to get it to do what I want it to do uh, and I guess from it being wet and then pulling it up or putting half up half down or trying to like do two little French braids or whatever um, it they just get pulled flat so those are like not even the front row which I would think it would be the front row but like the second row some of those in the second row and then some of those in the first row of the back so if i put half up half down that some of those in that first row of the back um i've also noticed more length and i noticed the length a lot when my hair is wet and i love my hair when it's like fresh out the shower you just washed it and you just scrunched it out and i style it like that like that first eight hours while it's still damp is it still damp for eight hours? I don't know. In my mind it is. Anyways, it just looks plump and juicy. <laughs> but anyways, I notice it when it's wet, the length. But now, um, I notice it when I just style my hair, period. Like, I can get my hair into a ponytail. And it's higher than it usually is. Usually it's, like, about right here. And then this back row of three, I always have to bobby pin up. Um, if the ponytail is here, as opposed to here, they'll fit up there they'll i can catch them in the ponytail holder but i don't like to not be able to move my neck like i don't want to feel any tension so i just leave those out and then i take it and bobby pin those up and even when i got so off subject anyways and even when i put my uh 
hair up into a ponytail after I put it in a ponytail I like go around and pull all the locks back out so there's no tension so it might look tight but there's really no tension on it but that's neither here nor there the hair is longer and it's longer now that I can see it without having to retwist it because before I only could see length when I retwist it uh the thickness again I know I mentioned that last time but now the thickness is different it's not just like density thickness where oh this feels like a lot it's thickness in a way that like so when I wear my hair in a style I used to be able to um just use the and this one's kind of stretched out but the regular goodie band scrunchies whatever you want to call them uh for the most part now I have to use one of these and it's almost the same color as my hair so I don't know if you can see it but that is like a headband and it's used as this because I can wrap it four times as opposed to this I would only be able to put this on once and it's not gonna be tight enough to hold my hair into position so it's getting thick in that way so it's it's too much hair now to fit in one of these for most of my styles and then it's thicker like at the the root where the hair is growing out so there's actually more hairs growing like there's loose hairs and not loose hairs because it it didn't go into the lock yet like it's just more hair I don't know if it's because you know I don't manipulate my hair a lot anymore so now it actually has a chance to grow in thicker because I've always had to me thin hair um, but there's actually more hair and I don't really know how to explain that but there's more hair um, so that's awesome because that means as my locks grow out they'll be thicker and I don't have to worry about thinning hopefully I won't worry about thinning I'm not gonna speak that into existence um what else I combined two more locks so I don't remember what my lock count was last video but I combined two more in this back that looks crazy my hairline looks crazy it looks weird on camera like my forehead is big enough I don't really need my anyways y'all it don't it's not like it is in person like it is on this camera that is weird it got me a little bothered y'all anyways all right um <laughs> uh yeah what was I talking about oh so I combined two more locks and I think I'm not going to combine any more until um my hair finishes thickening up because since it's changing so much from month to month uh, maybe the locks themselves that I'm combining will thicken up on their own uh, but these two were just they were just too small for my liking so I combined them um let's see what else oh I finally named a lock so it is this front one right here is this it is this it this is it that is it um no matter what I do it always sticks out this way so if I, um, like I said, I like to wet my hair and like wear it like that, like fresh out the shower when I wash it. And usually I can like put it all to the like one side and just have like a little bit hanging down and it looks all big and uh, full. And I think I have some pictures I can insert. <laughs> But that lock I'll have to wrap around another lock to hold it down and back otherwise it will come up through the locks and while all the other hair is this way it'll be sticking that way and then don't let me try to put my hair this way I'll have to like go inside my hair and bobby pin it down she don't act right so we have named her Janet <laughs> and um who helped me name her uh, it was Bunny Renee, uh, PB, and I think my sister, and one of my besties, I think. I don't know. But anyways, I sent out, like, a mass message on uh, Snap. It went to them individually, but I wrote it once and sent it to all of them. And, yes, this is what we determined, that her name is Janet because she just don't be acting right. Um, and what else? So, uh... There has been some dryness, not to my whole head, but just to my, it's not dryness. It actually looks ashy to like right around here. Um, 
because of my increase in hot yoga classes because I sweat forward uh it literally just looks ashy I don't know how else to explain it so I have to like put shea butter right here which I'm sure I don't know what I'm sure I, it's just weird it's ashy like I have to quote unquote lotion it but I use shea butter because I don't use lotion so yeah it just be ashy from like all the sweat and me wiping and all this kind of stuff with the towel and all that straight up ashy just like right in my hairline but it's not like dandruff it's just ashy I have to try to take a picture of it one day maybe I'll put it in my next update yeah but it's ashy and then the last thing before I put my retwist footage in here because uh you guys don't get to see my hair retwisted unless I put up a fitness video and it just so happens that I just recently retwisted my hair or of course if you follow me on snap or something but um I have retwist footage to add in here, but I retwist at the end of the month, like the third week going into the fourth, and then my anniversary is the first week. So by the time I make it to this point, it doesn't look like I've had a retwist. As you can see, like that's all like roots until about here. So I filmed it and I do a water only retwist now. Uh, it stays just as long as when I was using the aloe vera gel. And I really ain't pressed about it staying. I just retwisted so my scalp can get some air because you can see with it being thick like this, ain't no air getting to no scalp. So I just retwisted so my scalp can get some air. I can see how long my hair has gotten. <coughs> and that's about it. But anyways, the thing I want to talk about before I go into the retwist is I had a scab in my head, like a straight up scab, like from... It, the only thing it reminds me of is when you have, um, when you get a perm and you get like a perm, perm burn in your head. That's what it was like. I only can assume that maybe I got bit by like a little baby spider. I don't know. I'm outside a lot. Maybe a mosquito and it just irritated that spot like that. I don't know. But it was like sore one day and I was like, oh my gosh, my head is sore right here. I don't know what happened. And then like the next day. It wasn't really sore, but it felt funny, like if I touched it. And then the day following that, I, I touched it and I like scratched it. And I was like, man, that feels like that's a scab. And I went in the mirror and it was a scab. Yeah. And it had broken up and it was like all in these two locks right here. So behind Janet, the two locks behind Janet, she would be the line leader. Scab. It was just crazy. So when your hair is loose, you know, something like that is in your hair. You go wash your hair and it'll just run down the length of your hair. You're done. Okay, well, that's not going to happen when you have locks because no, no matter which way you wash your hair, it's always going to hit the lock part and that's the end of that. So whether you wash your hair forward, backward, this way, when the water runs to the ends of your hair, it has to hit, if it's coming from your scalp, whatever it is has to hit your lock. And it's not going past your lock. So basically what I had to do was wet my hair like I like got in the tub or over the tub and like wet my hair. And I just kept like massaging that area to break it up. And I had to take tweezers and like pull all the little pieces out. And I got like 90% of it out. And I'm going to do an ACV rinse this month or uh, next month because I want to re my hair for my one year. And I want my hair to be totally clean before I do that um so that will get the rest of it out but it was a very tedious process and my husband was like this shit is gross and I was like pretty much um so yeah I don't know what happened with that like I said it wasn't dandruff it was a straight up scab like I cut my scalp or something and it was healing I don't know where it came from like I said it must have been a bug bite I'm at a loss but I do have um some pictures of that if I haven't already put them in I will put them in now um, and now I'm going to put in my retwist, blah, 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 my retwist footage. Um, and in that footage, I show you my hair and everything. Um, so I won't do that now because I'm not taking this down and putting it back up because you know I'm going to have to wet it to put it back up. I don't have time. Um, so enjoy the retwist footage. And uh, I guess I'll see you 
next month i'm not going to say i'm not going to do an update because that will probably just set me up for failure so i'll see you next month for month 11 if you have any questions about your lock journey or loose natural journey or of course fitness or nutrition hit me up in the comments send me an email hit me up on my website instagram snap or facebook that is it guys thank you so much for watching enjoy the footage peace